And as far as authors for us to attach ourselves onto, because we are unapologetically Rick Riordan lovers right here. <laughs> um, like we can be proud of him because he's made a statement about Gaza before. And he has like, he has shown how much of an ally he is to the LGBTQ community. And Artemis, of course, has her group of lesbians that run around in the forest together. And his role currently on set is to help protect the children who are there. There's like so much we can point to to be like, okay, but our author, like our author <laughs> is actually a good one. I counted it. He has 26 canonically queer characters so far. And there's mm -hmm. more that they can add in um, as more time goes on. Probably, basically almost every book he adds in at least one more. And so he's he backs up him saying that he is an ally and things like that if i'm gonna like love uh like parasocially an author he feels like a good person to choose mm -hmm. so i'm not someone with rose colored gl glasses but when he is someone doing those things it's like yeah if you're gonna pick a book series to love like unequivocally you might as well choose his because he's actually going to treat you with respect yeah i can be like can he can he be my dad like he's a much better dad than anyone is better than my dad <laughs> but uh, still yeah. i like i'll just pretend like he's my dad and listen to him give advice in interviews and then follow that advice and that'll be the closest that i've gotten to fatherly advice in my life that's actually helpful <laughs> I mean, I don't agree with everything Rick Riordan has done mythology wise, um, for example, like I have always said I love going with the mythology story of Artemis and Apollo where Artemis is the older one and she helped deliver Apollo because that's just fucking cool. Okay. Um, but like um, he goes with Apollo being an older brother and gives him the older brother traits. You know, that's fine. We disagree on that one mythology thing. I, I'm sure I could dig up some other ones where I'm like, yeah, I don't love what you did there. Um, but I I can never, like, I can never look at the way he treats mythology and say, this is a person who doesn't get it. I, mm -hmm. I would look at it and say, this is a person who has different favorite stories than me. Yeah. And like, even with him, like, he's not immune to changing things like in the original um books he wrote medusa more as just like a straight up villain mm -hmm. but when they did the show he was like no i want to introduce the other parts of her myth that i felt like i couldn't introduce at the time when i was a new author and didn't feel like i could go on a feminist rant in this ya book series where the protagonist is a 12 year old boy <laughs> and so he can add all of those things in now and so he's not even above critiquing himself and so he's not one to like shut down you critiquing his series. I guess that's the thing with like this whole people on this Reddit page and people in general that critique the TV show in a way that doesn't seem fair. Is that like this author is somebody who is open to people critiquing the stuff that he makes so that they can improve it. He has said that there are things with the second season that he wants to, that he wanted to add in to improve like the show and first season um the most important thing of every season is kind of the overarching story and so for the first season of this show the thing that it was most important was to show that the um that the the gods were abusive parents and this is like a world that exploits these kids that was the most important thing for them to set up and also luke mm -hmm. and so those two things were like that was everything like if they didn't make the scene with luke work then the entire season and would have been a waste and every other season after that would have been harder to make look good if that season if that if that scene didn't work right and so they put other things to the wayside to make sure that you got that idea right but now going into season two we have all those things established and so they don't need to set up that the gods are abusive assholes and that they treat their kids horribly we know that already and they don't need to set up that luke is actually the villain because we know that already and so there are things like that, that they can add in now and so it's like this dude is one of the only famous writers like this that i know of that 
is open to people critiquing what he makes and actually considering what you say instead of just immediately shutting you down. Yeah. And so it's like, if you're going to talk about it, you can talk about it in ways that are like helpful without just being like, this is the worst show of all time. It's hard for me to, especially watching like all of the interviews with the cast and stuff of them talking about how hard they worked on all of their characters. Mm -hmm. but, like, I remember there was this one interview that Leah did. I can't remember if it was in the behind the scenes documentary of her, or if I saw it somewhere else with her parents. But like her dad, I think, was talking about how before they started filming, there were times when he would come in to like check on her to like give her dinner and she would be working on her script and he would say like her name and she would be like, I'm not Leah right now, I'm Annabeth. And it would be like so into the character that she like, wasn't herself anymore and that's like how all of them talk about it like walker said that he would read he would have like the book and he would read the scene from the books that they were filming to like see what percy was thinking and then think of those lines that percy says in the book when he was filming the scenes as him as percy on screen like grover or arian would do the same kind of thing like read the books over and over again to get the idea of grover across like they all tried like so hard to bring their characters on screen they worked so hard to do it because they really care about it mm -hmm. and so watching that stuff I, it's just hard for me to see like a bunch of angry adults on the internet like ripping apart like a bunch of teenagers <laughs> who care yeah. so much about what they're doing in a way that most productions in hollywood don't most people don't care this much about the characters that they're playing. They're just a character. But for these kids, they care because they love this. They loved this thing before they even tried out. And so it's like, why are you critiquing these people specifically so hard when they tr they're they trying so hard and you know how much they care about it because they're very earnest about that. This is not the series to do that with.